Hello everyone, in this session we are going to learn a Vespers method in order to rank out our different criterions. So this method is a combination of weighted sum model and the product model. That we have to calculate QI, that is the relative importance. So it would be a, the formula for this it would be 0.5 QI1 plus 0.5 QI2. So first of all we have to calculate QI1 and QI2. So in calculate QI1 we first of all we calculate the normalized value so for the normalized value uh, there are there might be two cases that would be for the beneficial criteria and for the non beneficial criteria like for example we have been given a set of hashtag cars and the performance criterions are price storage space mileage and looks the price is given in INR and the storage space mileage and looks have been rated out of 10 so first of all what we can see over here the price should be least so it is a non beneficial criteria all other are beneficial criteria so first of all what we need to do we need to calculate the xij or the normalized value so the price would be a non beneficial criteria so the formula for the same would be minimum divided by xij so first of all we would be calculating the minimum and the maximum for all the criterions so it would be calculated by using the function minimum and we would be dragging all the values and then it would be like this then we need to calculate the maximum it would be calculated by using the similar function the maximum and minimum is calculated we can extend this to for all the other values normalized value would be what minimum divided by xij so it would be equals to minimum is what divided by this xij so as we can see of minimum is to be fixed so doing over here we are adding the dollar sign or we are pressing f4 so in this all the values are calculated similarly for here it would is it is a beneficial criteria so it would be xij divided by max so xij is what we would be writing equals to but would be the xij divided by max is this much and we need to out so So in the situation for mileage and looks, the normalized value is calculated. So the next step is all about calculating the Q1 or QI1. That is the uh, total relative importance by the weighted sum models. The formula for the same it would be like this. So first of all we would be calculating and the Q1. So for we would be first of all we would be doing it by multiplying with the weights. So it would be uh, this much multiply the weight. It is over here. So it would be like this. So weights are common, so I would be just fixing. So in this way, the weight for the first column is we can extend it up for all the four values, and then we can drag it and so that we can have the all the so for this QI1 it is a summation. So what we need to do, we need to sum it out. So it would be to sum of all the four values. So we are just summing it out and Q1 is calculated for this value. similarly for all the other values Q1 is calculated and then Q2 is Q2 is to be calculated so it would be calculated by this function so first of all we need to calculate first so it would be done like this this one equals to, this will be equals to normalized value that we are having over here to the power the what we can say the so weight is to be fixed because all the weights are common so the weight has been fixed over here so and this calculated we are extending for all the values and then so q2 is what as per the formula so it is a product of all the values so it would be done like by like this it would be product equals to product into all the values the Q2 has been calculated so the next step will be calculating the QI or the total relative importance so it would be 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 multiply by uh, what we can say QI1 into Q, uh, QI1 plus QI2 so uh, as per the so we can have the reference of this uh, research paper I would be giving you the link so it would be this it would be equals to 0 0.5 multiplied by 
plus q2 so in this way qi is calculated and then we need to out so it would be we would be using the rank function so the rank function so first of all we need to select the number then we need to select the uh, refer so it would be from here to then we need to fix it out as descending so we, i would be writing zero and the refer would be fixed so i would be just adding the dollar sign or pressing the f4 so the rank has been calculated so rank has been calculated you can see here we can see out the rank has been calculated i would be just pressing the rank over here so that we can get to know which car has got the first rank so the car swift has got the first rank and the old rose had got the fifth rank so previously i have done the calculation using the topsis method so so we can see that the rank are same as we can copy it out so the rank would be so it has been very for so ever model you are using it would be same only like C, uh, it it would be like this one four three two five. There might be some differences of uh, uh, ranking when you are going for higher orders. So I would be uploading this research paper. It would be very beneficial for you because they have uh, used a different method to calculate out the rank, and it would be very very. Here you can check it out. They have applied different uh, multi criteria addition making tools like WSM WPM. Vespas, ED, ED, AS, and Topsis. So they have compared uh, compared all the uh, multi-criteria decision-making model. So in this way, it is verified, and you can have a quick view of all these sort of things. I will be uploading the Excel sheet of this so that you can have uh, example and we can learn it by yourself.